Hello, this is Sonia, and welcome to Red Cardinal Kitchen. So before I begin my intro, let's all fold our arms together and have a moment of silence. All right, so two Red Cardinal Kitchen cooking shows ago, I lost my electric skillet. I love that skillet. <laughs> but cheer up. I still have my 54-year-old blender queen. And the last thing that my skillet cooked for me was refried beans. And I think the skillet was so upset because it never got to work for Red Cardinal Kitchen. So all sadness aside, let's talk about what we're going to make today. So here I have my brand new skillet. It should feed all of you little redbirds. So I wondered, what am I going to make? Well, on the front of the booklet that came with the skillet, there was a picture of a stir fry. So I looked inside and all they had was a meal for breakfast and three dinners. So staring at the picture, my mind started turning and I thought of this meal. So today we are going to be making a fruity, citrusy stir fry with chicken served over jasmine rice. All right, so stay with us, and in a moment, we'll be right back after the break. Thank you for subscribing, liking and clicking that bell, and sharing so you won't miss out. If you have questions, go to our YouTube home page and check the About section for details. For our merch store, click on the Store tab. You will find products for men, women, kids, and babies, accessories, stickers, and the list is growing. Also. The ingredients and directions for this recipe will be in the description below. All right, so let's do this. Here I have my skillet. <laughs> oh, it's very, very heavy. <laughs> oh. And it is set at a moderate temperature at 250 degrees moderately low, let's say. All right, so the first thing I want to do is I want to put in some oil. That is olive oil. All right, and we're going to add, let it get hot there, put in some onions. Okay. Get that a little stir. Boy, I sure got a lot of room here. Okay, makes it look like I have nothing in my pan. <laughs> All right, and now we are going to add some chicken breast. Hear that sizzle? Okay. All right, I want to put this out of the way. It's got chicken liquid in it. All right, smells good already. We're just getting started. Okay, right now I want to add my spices. I have some ginger and some pepper, a little salt, and uh, some Old Bay. They don't sponsor me. Not a sponsor. <laughs> have to say that because they're not sponsoring me. Okay. So, I hope everybody's doing okay today. And I want to thank everybody out there for being so kind to me. And uh, it's so nice that we're all in one big family now. So, if you have other people that you know and they like to cook, Bring them on over. <laughs> so 
so. All right. Now, I want to add my garlic. And I like the prepared pipe with all that juice. I like that extra juice they give you. It's really, really good. But if you'd like, you go ahead and use whatever you have on hand. And now let's put in some mushrooms. And <laughs> I sure enjoyed watching you guys cook too. And your music is superb. Everyone. I just listen to it and it just fills my soul. Uh, I get a kick out of your videos. I just love them. All right, now I'm going to put in some. These are uh, frozen stir fry. Yeah, there's chestnuts, water chestnuts, and uh, some uh, squash and uh, snow peas. So. No, I think these are snap peas. Those come in the summer, right? All right. <laughs> Doesn't matter if they're frozen, they could be either, but I think it said snappy. All right, now I'm going to put in some carrots. So they had that, they had little bits of everything in the uh, stir fry, but I wanted to add extra because Christopher and I love to eat stir fries and vegetables and this will help us out for a couple days <laughs> so then we can do our shows uh, as we get kind of tired <laughs> in between those taste tests <laughs> oh. Oops, there it went Anyway, you know the wrap. <laughs> All right, so now I have, and I forgot to drain them, but this is the uh, lemon water to keep my apples from turning brown. So I'm just going to drain them. And a little bit can be in there, doesn't matter. It's clean. It's just it's what I've got to have in there anyway. So, so apples. And let's put in some oranges. These are very sweet. They're real tiny, and usually when you get those little tiny ones, they get sour, but not so with these, so this could be delicious. And I like all of the zest. I don't go for just one of those tablespoons. <laughs> so. Well, I'm trying to get the cameraman up here. It'll be a surprise one of these days. All right, well, it looks like we're almost to the end here, so I'm going to let this brown up for a little bit, and oh, and before I go, I just wanted to tell you about the rice. I cooked it ahead, and uh, it's jasmine rice, so I put in three quarters cup of rice. I'll put this in the recipe as well, and then I added chicken broth. Uh, one and a half plus three quarters cup. Figure it out. <laughs> and I uh, let it, once it came to a small little general boil, I put the lid on and let it sit for 15 minutes, or cook it for 15 minutes. And then uh, as soon as, our, as Alexa told me it was done, I took the lid off and immediately put it into a plate. Yeah, let's see if I can go. And it was really, it's really runny, you know, watery. A lot of people drain theirs, but I don't. I just put it on the plate, soup and all, and once it rests for a while, all that starchy liquid goes back up into the rice, and you get that fluffy, fluffy rice without all those points. So anyway, we're going to go to break, and we're going to be back. See you in a little bit. All right, well, we're back, 
And this is the luckiest time of the day, <laughs> is having this taste test. And boy, am I ever hungry. So I'm going to get myself a serving here. Some jasmine rice, a little fluffiness to it. And we'll just put it right down there. I decided not to put the big plate out. And then I have my fruit, oranges and apples, mushrooms, carrots, those little peas. Not the snow peas, the snap peas. All right, and there's some chicken in here. Oh boy, we have a feast. Now, before I forgot one item, I'm always forgetting, <laughs> is that I have some potato starch and I put it about three teaspoons and put it into the liquid and it thickened up so and I learned it from a special chef here at YouTube all right and I am going to take a taste oh here's a water chestnut I'll do that first Oh, it's much better with potato starch. I always use potato starch water, but I never used it in the powder form. All right, now mushroom. Let's see. Mmm. Apple and orange. Oh boy. I don't know if there is a recipe out there like this, but it sure is good. So I hope you give it a try. If you like citrus background mushrooms, and if you don't like all those little things that I put in, make up your own. But try my recipe first. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for watching and supporting our channel by subscribing, liking, sharing, and clicking that bell. It will help us get more videos out to you, including our free recipes. You can also find us at our website, redcardinalkitchen.com. And everything that we put on the YouTube goes right straight to our website. So, for every step of the way, happy eating and God bless. And we'll see you on the flip side. Bye-bye now.